I am George and this is Singapore. Today I arrived for some meetings and I am going to take you on a little tour of Singapore. This is where we met. It is very close to the airport, about a 20 minute drive away. But Singapore itself is a very small country. You can basically drive anywhere. It only has 3 million people that are natives and about another 3 million people who are working from abroad. I am excited to say that if things go well, we will open an office in Singapore to be near Google. Google and YouTube have an office here. It has over a thousand people working in this office. Can you believe that? Uh, well, I can't, <laughs> but I'm gonna see them tomorrow. I have a meeting where I get to, for the first time, visit their Singapore office and get to see what all this talk is about. As I can film, as I'm allowed to, I will show that to you as well in video. Now I am walking to my hotel and apparently this entire region was ocean. <laughs> Singapore just loaded sand over 10 years onto this space where our, we're walking right now and then built on top of it once it all settled. And there's a video from the 41st floor of where we had our meeting with investors and you can see the ocean basically at the same level as everything else around us. The 41st floor a lot of empty container storage. Amazing. Have you been in Singapore? Tell me down there in the comments below. This is the second time I've been in this city and the previous time was only for a very short trip and this time it's going to be very short as well. I'm leaving tomorrow but I hope to be here more in the future. It's a beautiful, clean city and I'll show you a little bit more of the environment here around me. The buildings are huge, gorgeous, and I would like to live here, I think. People are friendly, English is everywhere, so is Chinese. It's a very multilingual city and country. And it's uh, very easy to connect to all the nearby countries like Vietnam, like the Philippines, like Hong Kong. It's pretty central to everything in Asia, Southeast Asia. So I'll be approaching the hotel soon. <laughs> And I'll show you inside when I check in. Till then, my name is George, CEO and founder of Freedom for Freedom and the Freedom Family. We'll see you soon. I just got off this elevator. Let's walk to my room. It is 3.02, right here. And this is where I'm staying for the night in Singapore. Hello. It's a small room, but it's cozy. And they have my name on the screen. Pretty fancy. And the bathroom is right there. It's a little strange that, oh, they do have a curtain. Great. <laughs> And everything in this hotel is complimentary. So all the snacks I can eat and not be charged extra. Where normally, if you eat anything, <laughs> you get additional charges. Let's continue the tour. This is the washroom, which has a very impressive shower. Basically, you get showered from two directions, the head and the ceiling. We'll see how that feels later on. And it took me a while to find the snack bar. It's behind this door. Ta-da! Pretty fancy. And they have an assortment of drinks as well as <laughs> healthy, sweet, spicy, and salty options. 
So there's a little Toblerone for the sweet, a Quaker oat cookie for the healthy. I don't know if that's that healthy. Salty snack and a spicy snack. And they also have this cute little drawer for the teas. English tea and just additions to your tea. And a little cafe menu. Pretty nice. Are there any other little hidden spaces here? I did find this interesting one. It's a little So Precious box. And it's just basically a little place to store things. But they didn't give me any little surprise inside. So disappointing. I was expecting something in there. Everything is controlled through an iPad, and I've never used this system before, but apparently you can control the temperature, the curtains, the lights, the AC, everything from this iPad. Why aren't you using an Android device, Sophie Tell? And what else do we have here? We have an iPhone, something that looks like an iPhone, or is this an iPod? Let's see. Looks like... I actually can't tell. Because <laughs> I use an Android. Maybe you can tell me, viewers, in the comments below. This is just a workplace. Some interesting art. All City Chillers. Some little figurines. And a ceiling that isn't just white paint. It's all pretty fancy. High ceilings too. Like, how far can I reach? Let's see. I can relative to this. Yeah, that's about it. And it goes higher than that. And the entrance is just here with a little closet to store your, oh, lights turn on, fancy. Store your clothes and apparently a bathrobe with an ironing board, towels, and what looks like a very large pillow. Is this a pillow? Let's see what's inside here. A pillow. I don't think we'll be needing an extra pillow. Okay. And that's the tour of my place where I'm gonna sleep just tonight. I'll be leaving tomorrow, but tomorrow I also have the meeting with YouTube at their Singapore office that I will show you as much as I'm allowed to show. All right, guys, till then.